Okay, Billy Blank's Thai bow advanced workout. Okay, y'all tell me what's the difference here. Hold on. Let me go back to the, uh, let me go back to Roy. Okay, we'll do that right there. Let me find this one right here. Hold on. Just trying to do a little live comparison here. Uh, Because I, I think, yeah, there you go. There you go. Hold on. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. I want to show y'all something. Let me go here. Share the screen. Okay. What is the difference here? Y'all tell me what's the difference. Let's look at the first one. Okay, right? You see that? Now, now let me show you. Now, now, now let me show you this one over here. You saw that one, right? Now, what about this one right here? Hold on. Oh my goodness, bro. Right here. Yeah, there you go. What is the difference? Oh my god. There's no difference in what they were doing. Technically the same thing. Man. Matter of fact, Jamal looked like he probably get a better workout from, from Billy Blanks. He does. Yeah, I mean, does it, it? I think I think that Jamal would do better under under Billy. I want to make I want to make sure I'm making an accurate statement here. Let me try. Let me look. Hold on. Let me see if I could. I I'm trying to do this like. Um, let me see. I think the best way to do it is like this. Okay, we're gonna do Billy Blanks Tybo Advanced. Okay. And we're going to go here and we're going to share. First thing we're going to do is we're going to share this. And I got this uh, share it. Yep. Okay. And uh, let's look at it real quick again. Make sure. Take a good comparison. Okay. Looks like Jamal's getting a good work out there from Roy. All right. Left. Oh, one, two, three. What up? Okay. Looks, looks good. Looks good. All right. Now. Now let's go over to now. Let's go over to Billy Blanks. What is the difference? He's better off going three, with and Billy Blanks. I'm gonna one, email one, Jamal two, right now. Three, one, two, three, that one, looks way better. That looks that looks a hell of a lot better. I'm sorry, bro. Hold on. That looks a hell of a lot better one, than this. Yeah, nah, Jamal, nah, he, nah, he needs, he needs to go back with Billy Blank, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to fuck around and lose doing that. So, uh, let me see. Right? Billy was faster than Roy Jones. You look like you could learn a lot from Billy. I'm done, you know, hey. You know what made me laugh? I saw a UFC fighter taking taking advice from Steven Seagal. What is Steven Seagal gonna show you, bro? I saw the last Steven Seagal movie I saw, the man was so lazy. He was fighting somebody sitting in a chair. I, I shit you not, he was in the chair, you know, throwing him around and 
He didn't even want to stand up. He was just like, you know, these some of these people, man, they just starstruck. Steven Seagal is going to show you a damn thing. See, uh, yes, I went over, I went over, by the way, I did, I did go over, right, uh, yesterday, I did go over, uh, Sean O'Malley magically, magically forgot, you know, magically forgot about Tank now and wants to fight Devin. I'm going to tell you what happened. You know, he said to Ariel Hawani, yeah, I went to the UFC and I asked about Devin. I've never seen him fight, but I asked about him. So last week he was talking about Tank and said he never saw Tank fight. I'm going to tell you what happened. He looked up Tank. He looked up Tank. Sean O'Malley looked up Tank on his off time and said, oh, shit. Like, no, 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 no. Then he looked at Devin and was like, oh, okay, I could do that. That's what happened. He looked at Devin and was like, oh, I could do that. Tank will put me in the hospital. And Regis, even with Regis looking as in shape as he is, I still think Devin's going to beat him. Because I feel like Regis is going to have Regis is going to have to clip him. He's going to have he's he's going to have to clip him and catch him while he's doing that all movement. It, it, it's it's not look, I'm going to tell you right now, as much as I get on Devin, it's not easy as it looks, bro. It's not it's not easy. He's constantly moving. He's constantly throwing that jab in your face. Uh and it's just it's not easy if it was people would have did it already. Lenaris caught him you know cuz he was getting comfortable fighting. You, you know, that was the first fight I that's the first fight I ever saw Devin actually comfortable standing there trying to trade with people and he paid for it dearly. He almost lost that fight. If it was any other fighter that had some type of power, he'd have been knocked out. He literally did the stanky leg all the way back to the corner. He literally danced back to the corner. And you should have saw Bill's face. The shocking look on Bill's face was like, oh, no. I forgot what Bill told him, but it was a bunch of crap like usual in the corner. And I don't know, I'm just looking at him like, damn, bro. Why are you even trying to prove yourself, Devin? Like, just do what you do, man. Just, you know, just circle him and jab him to death, man. The, the, you know, the normal punch stats. You know, at the end of the fight, it's always like 475 jabs, 25 right hands, and 32 clinches. But he wins by unanimous decision. Just do it that way, bro. Don't make it difficult. Don't make it difficult at all.